Hey, my people, it's Major on Major TV. Let's talk. It's been recently um, reported that a white man by the name of Gregory A. Bush, who committed horrendous murders against two black people at a Kroger's in Louisville, Kentucky, October 24th, 2018, around 2.30 p.m., Um, Gregory Bush entered the Kroger store where he fatally shot Maurice E. Sterling, age 69, and then went outside and fatally shot Vicky Lee Jones, age 67, in the parking lot, outside in the parking lot. Both victims were African Americans, which also has changed Gonna fight with a bystander who had seen him shoot Jones. Another man said Bush told him, Don't shoot me. I won't shoot you. Whites don't shoot whites before the gunman fled. He was caught and arrested by police who arrived minutes after being uh, after um being called. And prior to this, it's reported that early on October 24th, he tried to enter, I'm talking about Gregory Bush, this white man, a service of the First Baptist Church of, of Jefferson Town, predominantly black church. He was stopped by its locked doors. Police and church leaders said the surveillance camera had reported Bush's attempt. I'm going to show you um, what happened. Well, I'm going to share the um, news coverage of it. He pled guilty to um, two licenses that was ran concurrently. Um, the family definitely um, is disheartened, saddened, um, definitely um, hurting, you know. And let me say on a personal, had this been a black person, these white people, the media would have been pushing for the death penalty. We'd have been hearing about it the whole two years. And see, stuff like this be swept under the rug, right? Um, they try to quietly adjudicate the matter, and then come a new later, like they really giving us justice. Clearly, this was a hate crime. Clearly, this was a Dylan Root um similar incident. He was just not able to get into that black church, but he still accomplished killing two beautiful black people. Black people, when we going to see that all this fighting among each other, all the hate, all the trying to debate about what's the right way of going about getting justice and the right way of doing it this way or that way, we need to put that aside. Bad enough we got to deal with our own people hating each other and killing each other, but we have to deal with the police, white people, and other groups killing us. There's there's been a talk on our back, and it's gonna always be a talk on our back until we stand up. But I'm about to drop on um, this news coverage on it and a courtroom reaction to this white man pleading guilty for killing. Killing these two beautiful black people. Lee Jones and Maurice Stollard told him that his actions have impacted not only their families, but the entire community as well. Our lives have changed forever. And the man's life that you took meant something. The legacy that he has in his grandchildren, in his children. 
Emotions ran high in the courtroom after Gregory Bush pleaded guilty to two counts of murder and three additional felonies. According to the plea filing, Bush went to the Jefferson Town Kroger on October 24, 2018, armed with a gun. He shot 69-year-old Maurice Stollard several times after following him and his grandson into the store. Bush then went into the parking lot where he shot and killed Vicki Lee Jones. The legal proceedings have been delayed several times in this case as the court has evaluated Bush's mental health. He was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, but federal prosecutors believe the crime was also racially motivated. In court, the victim's families told Bush he has changed their lives forever. I just don't understand that. It just can't be the color of their skin. To me, you need more than that. It can't be, you can't hate someone that much just for the color of their skin. You have ruined my life. It's hard for us to understand how you could do something to somebody who was so sweet and so loving and so kind and so generous and giving, gave so much of herself. As part of his plea agreement, Bush agreed to two life sentences, which he will serve concurrently. He is not eligible for parole. Denny Camper.